This evening, three million gallons of toxic waste is pushing down two rivers that cross Colorado, New Mexico, and Utah. This was the Animus River in Colorado, but now look at it after a crew working for the EPA last Wednesday accidentally breached a dam holding heavy metals used in gold mining. The governor of Colorado has declared a disaster. Maria Villarreal is on the story. And then down here, if you can put down how far you are from the river. By 7 a.m., people were already lined up at this Farmington, New Mexico water testing site. So if ours is dirty, everything downstream is dirty. They brought water by the gallon and the jug. At this point, until we get any results, we're saying, you know, don't use the water. Residents like Carl Clips also brought a little anger and frustration. I think something should be done and people that's responsible should have to, you know, should have to do something for it. The EPA says the plume of the spill has traveled more than 100 miles through parts of Colorado and New Mexico since Wednesday and is headed for Utah next. But the source of the spill, this abandoned gold mine, hasn't been plugged yet and is spilling out at a rate of 500 gallons per minute, carrying high levels of toxic metals. Initial EPA estimates say at its peak, the plume carried at least 200 times more arsenic and 3,500 times more lead than is considered safe for drinking. Ryan Flynn heads up the New Mexico Environment Department, which is running its own testing center separate from the EPA. We were really frustrated with, with EPA. Well, first and foremost, they didn't tell us about it for 24 hours, and so that's just unacceptable. James Atkinson came to the testing center today because he depends on well water from the river for everyday life. If you don't have your well water, what are you going to do? Take my chances. Do you have any other resources no, for water? No. The EPA says that they will keep the Animus River closed for at least another week. And Scott, those residents we spoke with, they won't get test results back for at least 48 hours on their drinking water. Maria Villarreal in New Mexico for us this evening. Maria, thank you. I'm the leading state sponsor of terrorism.